Hi guys, welcome back to the Arter server. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about this card right here. This is a Intel X550-T2, and this is a dual port 10 gigabit uh, network interface card with copper ports. And this particular version uh, or variant of the X550-T2 is an HP one. And so on the back, you'll see an HP sticker and HP calls this the 562T. So what's special about this particular 10 gigabit NIC is that it supports some of the more modern uh, intermediate speeds like the 2.5 gigabits and 5 gigabit speeds. And so this is attractive for people who might not be completely ready to transition all the way to 10 gigabit, but it gives them a way to kind of support the uh, 2 gigabit or 2.5 gigabit and 5 gigabits, and then it'll be ready for 10 gigabit when uh, they are ready to transition to the full 10 gigabit speed. However, by default, uh, you might notice that it doesn't seem to be able to link at 2.5 gigabits and 5 gigabit, gigabit speeds. And that's because for whatever reason, at least in uh, a Linux environment, so if you're running things like TrueNAS or Unraid that's based on the Linux kernel, uh, the driver doesn't by default advertise those speeds. And so today I'm going to show you how to identify that problem and also how to fix it. So let's go ahead and get this installed and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so let me just uh, first show you that I've got um, these so the motherboard that I'm using has on board uh, these four ports and the X550 is showing up as these ports. Okay, so it's named ENS15F0. Uh, so if I run ETH tool, ENS15F0, all right, so here you'll see supported link modes and supports uh, 100 megabit, one gigabit, uh, 10 gigabit, and the 2.5 gigabit, as well as five gigabit, right? So everything looks great there. Uh, so we know this card does support those modes, but if you come down here under advertise links mode, somehow the 2.5 and five gigabit speeds are not included in this list. Okay, so if this is what you see, and you're plugging this controller to your 2.5 gigabit uh, uplink, say like from, from an ISP, for example, or you have a 2.5 gigabit uh, capable switch, um, and it's not linking at 2.5 or 5 gigabit, uh, this is why. Before I explain to you how to fix this, uh, I just wanna show you uh, what's going on here. So. This is the GitHub page for the Intel uh, Linux driver. And uh, so you can look this up on yourself. And uh, buried in this very long readme, uh, somewhere about halfway through, if you just search for the uh, word 2.5 gigabit or whatever, you'll find this section here. But you'll see it says, by default, devices based on the Intel Ethernet Control X550 do not advertise 2.5 gigabits or 5 gigabits. To have your device advertise these speeds, use the following. And so it gives you uh, commands that you can run to enable advertising those other speeds, but you have to uh, combine these uh, hex values here. Okay, but down here they tell you, if you wanna turn on all modes, simply run this command here. So this hex value is uh, the sum of all these, and that will enable all the different speeds. All right, so let's go ahead and try to do that. I'll uh, copy this number here. All right, um, well, that might be a little hard to see, huh? Let me just close that out. Okay, so dash S and advertise and I'll paste this, right? So this is the command you're gonna need to run. Okay, so if I do that, 
And now, let me go back to this command where I ran earlier. And now you can see under advertised link modes, it includes the 2.5 and 5 gigabit speeds. All right, so at this point, it should be working fine. So now this, this command that we just ran, uh, that's a runtime change, meaning that it's only good for this one shot. And so if you reboot the machine, you're going to be back at square one. Basically, you need to find a way to uh, have this command automatically run whenever this machine boots up. And you could do that in you know part of the startup system, like an init script or part of system D. Um, I think as part of the system D or, or there's there's all all the different operating systems at, at least the Linux ones have some sort of hook mechanism where you can basically say hey if uh, if you're bringing up this interface be sure to run this command or in, or something like that uh, or at you know in a more crude way you can just basically put this in a startup script and it'll run every time you know your operating system boots up but anyway you have to find some appropriate way to implement this command and. Uh, and have it basically uh, enable the 2.5 and 5 gigabit speeds uh, every time you boot up. Uh, otherwise, this is just a one-shot one deal, and once you reboot, um, that change goes away. All right, so anyway, that's the solution, guys. So hopefully, uh, if you've been having problems uh, getting your X550 to link at 2.5 and 5 gigabit speeds, this video helps you out. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like this sort of stuff and you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to this channel. Also, if you want to support my channel, go check out my eBay store. I've got the best selection of pre-flashed IT mode HPA SAS controllers for your ZFS, TrueNAS, and Unraid needs. And I also have this uh, X550T2 in my store as well if you're looking for one. So go check out the links down in the video description. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.